Are you looking for a simple Java tutorial that actually does something cool? In this video, I'll show you a simple Java program for beginners that'll simulate rolling a six-sided die. What's up guys, my name's Alex. Welcome back to another Java tutorial for beginners. On this channel, I do a lot of fun and easy computer science videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now let's set up our simple Java program for beginners. First thing you're wanna gonna do, wanna gonna do, you're gonna wanna install Eclipse. If you don't have Eclipse installed, it's pretty much a great place to write Java. And I have a video tutorial that will walk you through step by step on how to install Eclipse on either Mac or Windows. And I'll link it up on the card now and also in the description. Once you have Eclipse installed, start a new Java project by going to File, New, Java Project. And the only thing here we need to worry about is our project name. So let's name this our simple Java program for beginners, but I'll just end it there. Next, open this up and click on this tab. It's called source. This will house all of our Java files. So right click it and go to new class. And a class is just a fancy name for a Java file. So we just need to name it and we'll call it um, our six sided die. Um, let's, let's do rolling dice. Okay. And then you're going to want to tick this first check mark here, the public static void main, and then hit finish. And this will set up our Java file for us. Rolling a die in real life is pretty simple. You roll it and then there's a random chance, pretty much random chance, that the top facing number will be either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So we do some action to start it by rolling it. We wait for the result and then we see the result. Now, how do we see the result in Java? Well, that's actually really easy, and you just type this line of code. Don't worry about how to memorize this or anything. You'll see what it does really quickly. Whatever is inside these double quotes gets output to this screen down here. So we could write our name, and we could save this by doing the shortcut Command S or Control S, and then run it. And you'll see that whatever was inside these double quotes gets output here. So theoretically, we could just output the result of our die right here. So we could say, um, you, oh, I'm in the wrong place on the editor here. You could say, you rolled a, and then we'll say like a six. Sixes are great. So if we save this and run this, it'll say, you rolled a six. Now if we run this every time, every time we're just going to get a six because we said to do it right here by putting it in these quotes. And we actually have two of the three steps for rolling a die programmed in Java. Remember how I said we have to roll the die? We have to just cross our fingers and wait for the die to pick its number. And then we have to see the result. We already have a way to roll our die by hitting this run button, and we already have a way to see the result. We just need a way to get a random number to simulate the rolling of a die. And to do that in Java is pretty simple too. To do that in Java, you just type random, and then we'll say a name that we can refer to later, like rand. It doesn't matter what you call it. You could name it R, you could name it um, cool number bro. We'll call it cool number bro. And then to finish our random number generator, type n equals new random. And then type some parentheses and a semicolon to end it. Don't try to memorize all of this. I'll have the source code of this project in the description down below. You'll see some red lines here and you can just fix those by clicking import random, java.util. And this pretty much just tells Java, hey, we're going to be using this random number generator. Now to get a random number, we just type the name of what we set it to. Oh, we say cool number bro. And then we just type a dot next int and finish it like that. And this line of code just means use this random number generator to get one of six integers. Just like a die, there's a random chance of getting one of the six possibilities. And let's store that um, 
as an integer variable and we'll call it uh, x like this so whatever this random number is will be assigned to x and then we can just replace this 6 by tacking on that random number so let's see what it does and then I'll go back through everything save it run it and look we rolled a 2 and we'll do it a few more times rolled another 2 we got a 5 this time we got a 1 another 5 a 1 pretty cool right we're making a random number generator we're storing the result of that random number generator and we're outputting you rolled a and then tacking on that random number so it's like we're simulating that six-sided die and actually there's a little catch here if you roll this enough you'll get a zero and dies don't have zero they have one through six and it seems like this one has zero through five we haven't gotten a six yet and this is because this six here this six here is the range and it's actually off by one so we have to add one to it and then we'll get numbers one through six that's just a weird quirk with Java um, that you have to deal with so now we should have a fully working six-sided die similar 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 simulator by just running it and so now if you're ever playing Yahtzee you can just run your Java program five times instead of having to roll all five of those dice. What an easy life to be a programmer. And play around with this, make this your own. That's the best part about programming. You can make a random number generator between one and like a thousand. Or you can do like nine, 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 nine. And then let's see what that'll do. Yeah, so you'll get random number generators, random numbers between these huge ranges of values. And so that can be pretty cool as well. Anyways, I encourage you to have some fun and make it your own. Question of the day, what challenges did you face when writing this Java program? Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to help you. That way you can connect with me and engage with this community of new programmers just like you. I really hope you enjoyed this simple Java program for beginners. Make sure to subscribe so you'll see all my newest videos the day they come out. If this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that so much. Thank you.